Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And if you are on Windows 11 24H2, and of course for those that are using Windows Server 2025, there's a change coming up that maybe will finally help with the dreaded problems of bad drivers. So a driver is a piece of code that explains to Windows how devices work. So if you go into your device manager, you'll see that your computer has several types of drivers for different devices that you have on your computer. And so this is the key to making hardware work with Windows. Now, one of the biggest problems with that is that sometimes a driver is bad or there is bad compatibility with a device and Windows or the hardware you use. So Microsoft has finally updated its own um, testing environment, the um, HLK, uh, which is, of course, a um, way of testing, which is um, uh, basically um, a uh, hardware lab kit. And they have a VHLK, which is a virtual hardware lab kit, where help, that helps vendors ensure compatibility, fulfill driver certification process, because there is certification in the um, process of making drivers in Windows, so it has to be uh, signed, and so that you know, shows, and that kind of gives it a official status where it should technically be working well. Uh, but Microsoft says they've actually improved this compatibility now and this testing. And this replaces the older way of testing that uh, used a um, different pattern. So that means technically. But, you know, there's always a difference between the reality and the expectation of changes like these. But hopefully this will help and make those drivers better and make those drivers uh, more compatible, have less of a chance of getting you know, problems with these drivers, and hopefully this is going to help out in the future of Windows. This update actually goes only for 24H2 and, of course, the uh, future versions of Windows. So uh, we'll see how this helps with compatibility. Uh, you'll be surprised to, to know that there's a lot of problems that can happen in Windows that are not Windows-related, but driver related bad drivers being sent out by manufacturers and that just break windows and of course since windows crashes most people think it's windows that's having a problem but the thing is it's the driver that's actually creating hell for the user so hopefully this is going to help out make it better in the near future if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching